Hey guys, Mary Jan, September 8th at 7.30 a.m. Again, daily vlogger, living with conditions, and power is still out. <laughs> it kind of stinks, but at least now the sun's kind of out, so at least there's more light, so that's a good thing. But now I'm tired, so now I'll go to bed. I know I said that I was going to go to bed in my last video, but then I started getting the munchies because of my medication. So it was retro north of 60. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know when the power will come back on, but I'm probably gonna go shopping as soon as the power gets, as soon as I get up next, because it's probably, because it's 7.30 a.m., so it's probably <laughs> not gonna be up to, like, 4, 3 or 4, um, but we'll see, so, yeah, uh, for my birthday wishes, of course, the only, only two of them came true, so, uh, didn't get to beat Ryan, didn't get to see the headstones again, didn't get to see Hugh Dillon, but Hugh Dillon has been liking a lot of my posts lately on Instagram, and I know it's him because, uh, last time I talked to him, he told me on in person that it was him, and that his friend does, uh, the Instagram sometimes, and then, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I actually did a story time. Uh, what happened when I went to the last, uh, Headstone show, which was pretty cool. So, once again, Headstones are from Ontario, Kingston, Ontario. Well, Toronto. And, uh, yeah, I've been a huge fan since I was, like, 13, 14, maybe younger. Because my other friends were listening to them at the time. And then I was like, oh, I love you, Dylan. He's so cute. <laughs> and I still love him to this day. He's like 61 years old and married and that, but he's still uh, a big influence on me. Like I keep saying, call calling him my idol because he helped me change my life around. Um, and it was really cool meeting him to tell him that. But it was... I'm pretty sure I said the last concert that I went to, he kept, because he knows about my conditions, so even he knows about my conditions, and he didn't call it fake. He's, like, worried about me when he was on stage. <laughs> so he kept staring at me every time, and he's like, are you okay, are you okay, are you okay? From the stage, he's, like, looking and saying that, and you could see him, what he's saying. So I was like, aw. <laughs> I'm like, yep. And then, because I asked for a photo with him, but the two, the headstones, they don't like to be uh, recorded. They want people to experience it, especially since uh, he does a lot of swearing. <laughs> so then, he came out from the stage when he was singing a song, and then he was walking on the, uh, what is it called? Like the stage part, but that goes out. And then he's like, goes right beside me. He's like, pull out your phone, take a photo. And I was not expecting it, so the photo is still kind of crappy photo <laughs> compared to the last time I met him. But that's okay, though, because it's memories. But yeah, I didn't even get to see him really last time because he went away right, he left right away. And then, um, the time before that, when I did the VIP, it was, like, one show in Vancouver, Victoria, where I did the meet and greet, and then I also did it in Vancouver, uh, two show in Vancouver, and I kind of, I was Facebook friends with Rickford, so I, I knew him, so it was pretty cool running into him, and I'm like, hey, we actually meet, <laughs> But he's not part of the headstones anymore. He's a uh, lead singer of Simon, which is okay. But I was like, that was kind of fun. Um, getting to know artists and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, when I was at the show, he was like, hey, nice seeing you again. <laughs> he's like, I remember I see. I mean, I influenced you, I get it. I still crave it, too. <laughs> so he doesn't even have to, like, say anything to me. 
he, I mean, I don't have to keep repeating myself. He knows. He's like, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember that he's the reason why I quit uh, drugs. So that's why I keep saying he's my idol. Because people are like, you're not really supposed to have idols when you're Christian. But like I said, he's more... I don't worship him. Like, I just admire him. And he changed my life around. So... It takes, uh, sometimes it takes one person to tell their story to get you to change your life around because you don't want to end up with how they were. And that's kind of like you, Dylan, for me. So, plus that he's hot, but, <laughs> plus that he's hot. But yeah, he's married, so. That's fine. So yeah, I didn't get to meet him, unfortunately. But at least I got all these memories. And even though, like I said, my birthday already passed, I didn't get to do what I wanted to do on YouTube. So that's why I'm doing it this weekend, hopefully. So, like, blow out the candles uh, with you guys. Because usually I do it on my day. But like I said, this year I had to go out pretty much every single day. Before my birthday to get uh gifts and stuff like that. So, and now I have to go out to get the balloon tie thing and balloon tape because the balloons don't really stay. I mean, the ones on the ceiling do though, so they look pretty nice. But yeah, it's pretty dark. So yeah, I didn't get it. Of course, I didn't get to meet the headstones, but I did. Yeah, so I didn't get to meet. <laughs> Sorry, so I didn't get to meet Ryan. I did my crush. I didn't get to, and I haven't heard from him since then. So who knows? Uh, about that, and um, I didn't get to meet the heads. I mean, I didn't get to see the headstones. In concert, and I didn't get to meet Hugh Dillon again. So, those wishes didn't come true, but... Like I said, I was really busy during my birthday, so <laughs> I'm kind of glad that nothing happened where I had to go out and meet people. Um, and... Yeah, I just get really disappointed, though, when there's people that I like, and I don't get any happy birthday wishes from them. <laughs> like, I get birthday wishes from other people, but, like, last year, or Hugh Dillon's happy birthday, this year, he didn't. <laughs> so, like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, I didn't even hear from Ryan on my birthday, either, so I'm like, oh, gee. So, yeah. But I know people are busy. People don't make big deals about birthdays like I do. <laughs> but the main reason why I'm also wanting to do it on YouTube tonight is so then that way I could have another video. Because at the birthday dinner, I couldn't take too many videos because my family was there. And the reason why they don't want to be a part of my YouTube is because of the fake accounts and all that. So. That's why uh, they weren't in there, but my mom, she said it's fine. Because you guys have already seen her. So. But, uh, yeah. Now I'm like, at least there's kind of, it's late now, so I can actually see stuff. But now I'm too tired. <laughs> too tired to do anything. So I'm like, no, I'm going to go back to bed. Oh, yeah, so... So I, I'm gonna keep losing my train of thought. So I was talking about my birthday wishes. So yeah, didn't get to meet my crush. Didn't get to meet Hugh Dillon. Didn't get to see, didn't get to see the headstones. But I did get money. And I did get to a thousand subscribers. Like literally the day after my birthday dinner. So that was cool. <laughs> so at least those two, those two are good. And, yeah, I just I think it's funny, though, because, like I said, I don't really know if that was the real Ryan or not that I was talking to, but he was saying, if there's, if people are making clips of you, it means that they made, you made it. <laughs> I guess that's true. And fake, fake accounts. But, uh... 
Yeah, that's fine. So, like I said, I don't really care if people make a fake account about me, but when they make a fake account about my crush that I haven't met in person, and then my cat, that's where it's kind of a little crazy and draws the line <laughs> kind of thing. But I still didn't stop doing YouTube, and like I said, at least now, if, uh... If he didn't know who I was before, at least now he does. Because <laughs> so, so many people keep leaving in comments. I, I, left, I leave him comments, though, sometimes. Because I'm re-watching his videos, but... Yeah, I even told him, come back and make a... Come back soon to make videos, because we miss you. Because I know I'm not the only one who misses him. <laughs> he has a killer community, but... I know he's been busy, so... Kind of sucks, so that he has to go. Well, I mean, it's good for him that he's going to the military, but that's one of the reasons why I liked him was because he's from here. <laughs> Ugh, so, but that's why I go. I'm hoping that I could at least meet before he goes to the military. But who knows? Might have to just keep being a dream. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I don't have any data on my phone so i did do a half hour video but i can't upload it because it's on my old phone but i was eating and listening to creepy dobson racking out for half an hour <laughs> and i was like oh no time for bed well I'm like, at least the power outage forces me to go to bed. Ugh. My, uh, the chips went down the wrong side <laughs> of the throat, of my throat, so that kind of sucks, but, yeah, that's why I'm coughing. But, um, yeah, I'm probably, like I said, I was planning on doing laundry today and spend time with family, but I'm worn out from the weekend. From the week, the weekend, from the week, right now it's the weekend. So I'm like, no, I'm just gonna go shopping and then come back and then do uh, do live. Like I said, uh, I've been doing live pretty much every single day since the end of August, and um, he hasn't been back on since then, so. I don't know if that was him or not. <laughs> but that's not the only reason why I do YouTube live. It's because subscribers keep asking me to do it. So I'm like, well, since it's my birthday month, I might as well go live my birthdays. And then that's what I'm pretty sure that's what helped me get to 1K finally. So yeah, I'm going to get a 1K balloon. I've actually never seen any congratulations stuff at the dollar store, like for decorations and stuff. But that's fine. I'll just have the balloon then. I'm not gonna buy. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy every single letter to spell out congratulations in a balloon form. <laughs> C O N U T L A T I O N S. So that's ten. That's twelve bucks right there. If I didn't, <laughs> and then I'd have to pull up every single one. But yeah, my uh, finger hurts now. That's how. That's how I learned how to tie balloons. I'm pretty sure there's probably an easier way, but I'm like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> so that's how I'm like, I hope this thing works if I, when I get it. The balloon tie. Because I don't like balloons because of the environment. It's not good for the environment, but I also like the balloons because it's big numbers and it's noticeable and it's just nice to have uh number 44 like in a big balloon like that so that's not bad oh so yeah i'm tired <laughs> i'm tired i'm so tired so i am going to call it a night but yeah unfortunately 
three of my wishes did not come true this year, and two of them did, so. <laughs> I got money and my subscribers, so I guess that's the main thing. And I don't think I could uh, be monetized yet, because apparently they contact you, but I did apply. So they could tell me when I'm when I qualify for it. But like I was saying before, some people actually make $5,000 a month off YouTube just from the ad stuff and watching ads and super chats and all that stuff. I'm like, I can't make that much money. I'd get kicked off of uh, well, disabilities. So. Because I'd have to reclaim that income. So once again, if you do YouTube and you're on disability, you better be claiming it. <laughs> because they will find out and then you could get kicked off. So just so that you guys are aware. Because that happened to me when uh, I forgot to um, claim that I was working. And then... I had a review, because that's the other thing, too, uh, with disability, that you usually get, like, a review every four to five years. Sometimes you don't. Like, I've only had two reviews the whole time that I've been on disability, which I don't remember <laughs> when, when I signed up for when I got it, but it took a lot of work to get on it. So I had to do that whole process too. I had to be on welfare first and then I couldn't work. Or then I had to prove that I couldn't find work. <laughs> so it was a lot, it's a lot of work to get on disability. And a lot of people don't understand that. And to stay on disability, it's also a lot of work. Because like I said, a lot of times I used to work a lot. So I'd be like, oh, since you could work, you could, you don't need disability. I'm like, I'm hardly ever at my job though. So yeah, I kind of did need disability. And now, like I said, it's really hard for me to get out these days. So <laughs> definitely, uh, definitely can't work. I can't even make it to my doctors. People are like, you haven't gone to the doctor's yet? And I'm like, nope. Because <laughs> everything is in the afternoon. But it's also because I haven't told them. Like, I told them about my ears when it first started hurting. But, like, I haven't told them how, it's, how it feels like it's always clogged and it's really hard to hear anything. Worse than before. So, and I don't want to wear really hear any answers because my ears hurt all the time. So, having that in as well. Like I said, you hear you hear everything around you, but the person in front of you. So it's kind of pointless, in my opinion. But then I like the I still love that Becker episode when the uh, the old lady is talking to Becker, and she turns down her hearing aid, <laughs> and he's talking, and he's just like, "Yep, yep." If she can't hear a word that he's. <laughs> that's why I'm like, that's the other reason why I kind of like being partially deaf because then I just like tell people, yeah, I hear you, I hear you, but I don't hear a word. I <laughs> and actually, my friend, my family and friends now keep saying that they're like, did you hear me? <laughs> did you hear that? I'm like, nope. <laughs> so, but I think I gotta keep the balloons up. On the sailing like that, I kind of like them there. But I'll take down the 44 numbers, of course. So, yeah, I've just been worn out. So, that's why I go today. I'm just going to stay home until I wake up. And then I'm going to go up to uh, Fraser. Go to the Dollar Tree, proudest store, shopper, uh, and then probably go to Shoppers and No Frills because their tofu is really cheap there. Usually, not always. Because I have been craving a lot of tofu dishes, and now I eat all of the leftovers from the Asian place around my birthday dinner. So, I'm like, now I gotta cook again. <laughs> now I gotta cook again, so... <sighs> but yeah, I'm just tired. But at least I'm just going up to Fraser, so it's not that far. It still takes me about an hour to two hours because, because I have to go to multiple stores. But yeah, my pork king oyster mushrooms. I'm, pre I'm 
hoping they're going to be fine. I still haven't looked because I'm kind of nervous, too. But I did put them in a paper bag as soon as I bought them, so they should be fine. But uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. I still haven't cut out my fridge yet. I've just been pretty much tired, 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 tired. That's why, like, I was surprised that I actually woke up last night. And then I started doing live right away. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go to bed. And then all of a sudden, it's like 6 a.m., 7 a.m. I'm like, holy Moses. And I'm like, <laughs> I haven't even done anything. Maybe a few dishes. And I did a few decorations. Not many. So... Yeah... Well, I'm gonna go to bed, because like I said, I just ate with you guys, and then I finished the rest of the bag of chips I had, and there wasn't that much left. And, uh, go to sleep, because I'm tired, so. Yeah. <sighs> and I think on Monday, since I'm gonna go out today, Monday I'll just, uh, stay at home. Catch up on things. And then maybe Tuesday I'll do laundry. And see family. And then Wednesday hopefully I'll go to the doctors. Finally. <laughs> I keep putting it off. But I'm like I don't want to go to the doctors the day before my birthday. And I don't want to go to the doctors last week. Because I was so tired. So. <laughs> I'm just like no. I could wait. It's so funny, I keep getting text messages. You're due, you're due for the dentist, you're due for the dentist, for the cleaning. And I'm like, I'd rather get a root canal done than get cleaning done. <laughs> I don't like the noise and the vibration of the, what do you call it? The tool that they use for the cleaning. I mean, I know it doesn't hurt, it's just very annoying and they don't freeze your mouth to like when before when you get a root canal or they pull your tooth they freeze it because my teeth are so sensitive because i'm like i know i say that i have no teeth but i still have yay power's on <laughs> and i'm going to bed <laughs> you guys just saw that power's on so yeah i'll upload the other video now but I'm so tired, so, so very tired. Was, oh yeah, I was talking about the dentist. So I'm like, yeah, I'd rather um, have the root canal done because they freeze your teeth, your mouth, and then, but they don't freeze it when they do the um, other thing. That's the thing, that's how tired I am when I'm tired. I'm like, the other thing, because I can't think of what I was going to say. So, yes, the power's on, so. Now I could use my heated blanket because it's freaking cold. <laughs> that's why I have my hood up. So, yay, the power's on. But I'm still going to go to bed anyways. I've been up all night. I wanted to do the decorations, but I was like, there's no power, so. Kind of sucked, and I'm tired, so. <sighs> Always something to do. So yeah, I'm still, still kind of disappointed that not the birthday wishes that I wanted to come true didn't. <laughs> That's okay, because they'll, they'll be my Christmas wish, and like I said, the headstones are from... Ontario, Toronto, so it's like, I can't really go travel there just to go see them, because they are playing, but, oh, it's so funny, because I was showing on, in live people the photos of Hugh Dillon, I'm like, this is when I like Hugh Dillon, this is how he is now, and I'm like, I, I actually think he's better looking without hair and older than, than when he was younger. <laughs> it's weird because usually I don't, but yeah, I such a huge crush on Hugh Dillon, still do. But like I said, I usually I don't like people who are married or with kids and stuff like that. But there's an exception for Hugh Dillon. <laughs> Hugh Dillon, 
But yeah, he's 61. So I, I think he was like in his 30s probably when I first noticed him. So like I said, I was a fan of the band first before I started watching Flashpoint. That's why I started watching Flashpoint was because of he Dylan. But, uh, yeah, I don't remember exactly what year I started listening to them. But I know I was, like, in my... I was still in high school, so... Oh, God. <laughs> I love that I first day of bodies. This is not real life. This is high school. <laughs> or this is something like that. Uh, I still want to do that thing where I take you guys to my neighborhood where I've grown up, like, where I grew up in Surrey. I'm going to show you the whole area, and we're used to hang out at the Sky Train. <laughs> but the only problem is that it takes, like, two hours to get to Surrey from here, because, like, I'd have to bus, Sky Train bus, so it kind of sucks. And, uh, yeah, so that's why I never go to Surrey. It's too far. It's way, way, way too far. But I would like to see if the house is still there. My grandma's house. And, um, take you guys to where I grew up before that, which was in by an animal station, somewhat. So... One of these days, one of these days, m maybe this week I'll do that. Like, on Wednesday or something, after the doctors, so I'll be like, let's go to Surrey, and I'll show you guys where I grew up and, <laughs> and got in trouble. <laughs> yeah. So funny. My mom, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna bring you to, uh, Surrey. Because you're getting in trouble here, and, but we're getting more trouble in Surrey <laughs> in here. Yeah. So it didn't really help, and then, so then we just end up coming back here, but... Yeah, Surrey was fun. I think I, think I like Surrey a lot, though, because, like I said, a lot of the guys were are pretty high in Surrey. And... Um, it was fun hanging out with people, but like I said, if you had to take transit all the way there, it kind of sucks. And then like I said, I had, my grandma had a dog, so I gotta look after the dog. And I'd be flying in the air when I walked, <laughs> walked it, because it was a German Shepherd. And it was huge, and I was like 10 years old, 10, 10 to 14, I think, when I was in Surrey. But yeah, sometimes I just get so pissed off at my drama and it just take off. Ugh. But yeah, I kind of kind of miss her. She almost lived till she was a hundred, actually. I think she was at ninety nine, ninety eight, or ninety nine. So that's only like, that's the only downfall about genes in my family is that we all live long, even though we're not supposed to. Like. My great grandma was a hundred and ten. My great grandpa was a hundred and five. Apparently, somewhere around there when they passed away. Then my grandma was either a hundred or oh no, either ninety nine or ninety eight. Because when you get to a hundred, then you get like a special letter kind of thing. And then my mom, she has a heart thing. I forget what it's called, but it's from the character in Beaches who passes away. That's what my mom has. Like, the heart could go out any time. So you have to be very careful. 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 <laughs> careful. And then me, I'm not, I wasn't even supposed to be born. And she did death so many times. <laughs> I'm still here at 44 years old, so... Nothing's gonna stop me, it's in my genes, but I don't want to live till I'm a <laughs> hundred. Not that long. But I'll be here for quite a couple of years left. <laughs> there's still some life in me, and then there's Bud. Even though, like, I don't get out of the house unless I have to. Aww. 
Look at Bug. So cute. <laughs> like, where did Bug go? Oops. He's sleeping on the bed. He loves that thing. It's funny because I have so many cat beds. Yet yeah, that's the one that he chooses. <laughs> right, bud? He's so cute. He looks like he's so tired from chasing all the bugs. <laughs> and the flashlight. Yeah, so now I'm finally going to bed at 7 a.m. So I probably won't be up to like 3 or 4 or something like that. And I'll probably go shopping right away because everything closes early today. Because it's Sunday. And then that later I'll have to go out Monday or Tuesday. And then I'll go to the doctor's Wednesday. I just look so relaxed. <laughs> so yeah, yay, the power's on. And it came on right when I was recording, so that was really cool. So I'm going to upload this video, uh, the old video first, and then I'll upload this one. Or... I'll upload them together. See which one. See which one beats the other. So yeah, the power is back on. So now I'm gonna bed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time I'm awake. Welcome to my haunted world, XXO OG Apocalypse.